Westward again, the few hundred miles, and find Montreal, the metropolis. Find Montreal and see how it grows between its river and its mountain and out from its mountain in every direction. Montreal Airport, only six hours from London in the age of the jet. For travelers, this is often the first view of Canada. And it was the first view of a new home for many of the million and a half immigrants who came to Canada during the last 10 years. New lines, the airport's terminal symbolizes Montreal's role as aviation capital of Canada. Aviation capital and a center for industry and commerce. Transportation and shipping capital for a country that ranks among the leaders in the world's trade. And everywhere, new buildings to affirm the growth and prosperity of Canada's largest city. people. About a third of them speak English and two-thirds French, making Montreal the world's second largest French-speaking city. Only Paris is bigger. And in parts of Montreal, like old Bon Secours Market, hardly a word of English is likely to be heard. It is from this French heritage that much of Montreal's liveliness stems. Well, here is a city that really likes to enjoy itself. Theater. Dining. Dancing. Nightclubs. Montreal has it all in great variety. And not far away, when winter comes, there's still another form of recreation. <laughs> 